So, I bought a new uh, computer the other day off of uh, eBay. It's a miniature Android PC that uh, hooks up to your TV and uh, basically turns your TV into a smart TV. So, this is what it looks like. It's this thing been underneath the light right there. That's the miniature TV for Android. It's got a dual core A9 processor. It runs at uh, 1.2 gigahertz. It can be uh, stepped up to 1.6 gigahertz, but for heat re reasons, I think it's better to leave it the way it is. And uh, this is what you all get for with the package. You get the uh, power supply. It's uh, just a USB power supply. Of course, you get the mini PC. You get a um, um, USB uh, adapter cable, which goes from the small USB to the regular USB. You get a HDMI adapter cable, goes from a small HDMI to a large HDMI. And you get this USB cable here, which is to power, plugs into the power supply, and then into the there's the little computer mini PC. Here's the remote that was bundled with it. And on here, it has a lot of holes in it for ventilation on both sides, so that uh, helps to keep it cool. That was an issue, I guess, with the previous version. And um, We'll just go around it here. It's got a micro SD slot. It'll uh, accept up to 32 gigabytes. Uh, by the way, it comes with uh, 8 gig of uh, RAM on board. Uh, just turning it around here, this is the HDMI output for your TV. And it'll, um, my TV, it runs it at 720p, but uh, it will go up to 1080p, but my TV doesn't support that, so it, it steps down to 720p. But uh, the quality of the picture is really good. This is a my, uh, mini USB port. Um, this port here actually will act as a, as a slave, or like a thumb drive. You could plug it into your computer with this and just access the uh, 8 gigabytes on it as a, as a thumb drive or when it's powered on it'll run as a normal USB port. Uh, this is what I use the uh, small cable here and I plug this into it and that is for the uh, for the keyboard. So that's that one. And over here this is for power this USB port. It's uh, strictly for power and um, this one here is just your standard USB port. And I plug my Logitech webcam in here and it works perfect. We've, uh, we were Skyping on it this morning for over an hour to Europe. So, so that works out pretty good. So I believe I covered all the ports. Um, they really try to make it look like Google TV here, but it isn't. So anyways, and this is um, an Air Mouse, an RC11 air mouse by I think the company is called Meezy that makes it and this is the little dongle for it and um, this thing here has a gyroscope in it it works off of a RF frequency not um, not infrared so you don't have to worry about obstructions it's got about a 30 foot range on it and uh, it's got a gyroscope so you just kinda point it around it's got your left mouse right mouse and this one here turns off the off the gyroscope. Sometimes it's annoying when you move, you're trying to type and the point is going all over so you can turn it off and on with this here. And um, yeah, it's got a full keyboard. Works perfect. Takes a bit of getting used to, but uh, it does a really good job. So that's it. So that, plus all the cables and everything, was $89 I believe. And that included shipping from China and it took 21 days I believe. I ordered it on November the 6th and I got it on November the 27th. So that's not too bad coming from China for free shipping. So 
I'm going to put the thing together and uh, we'll uh, hook it up to the TV. So why don't we just do that for a second? Why don't I just put the camera here so I can kind of half see it. And uh, I'm going to plug in the HDMI here. I can get it the right way. There it is. So that's the HDMI. We will do this here. I'm going to plug this into here like that there and this is going to plug into there okay and then this one here is the power it is going to go into there like so and then the other end of this is going to plug into here if I can get it the right way like so so that's it there, there you have it okay and um, I don't know, it looks like a mess, but it goes behind the TV and you really don't see it. The only thing left to hook up is the webcam and it's going to go into that port over there. And uh, like I said, it just hangs behind the TV. You don't see it. I've ran it all night before using it and um, it doesn't get hot. It gets a little warm, but that's about it. So, quite happy. Anyways, next we're going to hook it up to the TV and boot it up and I'll show you it running. It looks like Google TV but uh, believe me it's not. It's just a Android computer. So, we're at the start screen. It's going to connect to my uh, Wi Fi. And then uh, the weather will pop up and just a couple of widgets that I've got on there. Yes! But you can see it's definitely uh, Android. And it's the latest version, it's Android Jelly Bean. Takes a little bit to get going. We have a Android tablet and it's the same. It, it's not the quickest to boot up, but compared to Windows, it's really good. So anyways, there we are. We're all connected. You can see a couple of uh, messages down here popping up. Emails that I have from uh, Gmail. So anyways, I have my little weather widget, my little uh, bookmark widget here. I don't have too much on it right now. Um, but these are just my favorites from the browser. I have my file explorer. I like this uh, ES file explorer because it will also um, see my network drives and uh, settings, YouTube, browser, and uh, Google search. And then uh, the apps. Most of this stuff was on there. I put the AccuWeather on and Angry Birds and most of this stuff was on. Oh, I put the ES File Explorer on and I put Firefox on. And I think, oh, I put uh, Sopcast on. Skype was already there. And uh, all of this stuff was already there. So that's what it came with. So it's not, not too bad. So um, how does it work? Well, for, for browsing, it's pretty good. You, you could go to YouTube here or, or whatever you want. It's asking me this because uh, it wants to open up the YouTube app. But for now, we'll just do this. So you can see the browser works just fine. Um, I could uh, watch a video here just to show you that it works. It's going to ask me again because it wants to use my uh, my YouTube app. But I'll just show you that it will play a YouTube video in the browser because these are generally flash. It takes a second. Welcome to this week's TV. And there you have Chuck doing his TD report.
So, you can see that the browser works just fine. Now, the um, YouTube app works pretty good. I like it. All of my new videos are up on the wall here. And, uh, my, I don't see uh, Chuck's video. Oh, there it is right there. But, yeah, so, you know. You can just click on any of these here. This is McCauley. Hey folks, Mike Haley 7 here. Mike Haley 7. So tonight, to go I full went screen, to let's go here. My, there it is, full uh, screen. Make a coupon to buy a so Samsung that works good. And then you go back, you just computer. go back. It's, uh, so anyway, so that's that. So I'm just going to show you the, the networking on it, just to show you that uh, I can get stuff off of my computer. So I just go to my LAN. This is my computer, at least it's supposed to be. And I can go to my videos. And I should be able to go to here, here, and I should be able to go into December. And we'll just uh, click on this guy here. So this is going to be streamed from my Ubuntu PC, from my Linux so, box. And there is a little mini PC. Here's the remote. So that works pretty that good. With so just to show you that it does work. And on here it has a lot of holes in it for ventilation. So you could have videos on your PC, watch them on your TV, stream through your wireless network with this little miniature Android computer. I think it works pretty good. Anyways, that's it. Hope you enjoy.